Once upon a time, there was a boy. And a dog. Who met a very pretty girl. They fell in love and started a farm. In hopes to make the world a better place. This is our story. Good morning, everybody. And by morning, I mean morning. We are at 4.55 right now. Yeah, there it is. This is my brother, Taylor Lamar Clark, taking me to the airport like a champion before 5 a.m. And he's got to work all day today and worked all day yesterday. There's not too many people that will do that for you. You try to ask one of your friends to take you to the airport at 4 o'clock in the morning and see if they don't slap you. Ah, home sweet airport. <laughs> this Sarasota airport. Uh, which is, uh, you know, the home of We the Kings as far as Bradenton, Sarasota, is the nicest group of people uh, I, I think I've ever met at an airport. They're so accommodating, and I love them very much. Just wanted to say that I was sending out my, my love vibes. Danny and I are secretly waiting for Charles not to get on the upgrade list and to be upgraded without him. Not, you got it this time, but I'm saying there will be a time because we're higher up on the list than Charles. Let's, let's set Does that the sound tone. like a brag? Let's set the, bragging. set the tone. Charles has always been above me on the upgrade list. Always. And now this one time I'm above him, he's kind of squirming. I love it. Actually, can I see that ticket? Out there? Right. Out of the garage. Oh, it's an airport. Flight number one. degrees with just uh, light winds out of the west. Welcome on board. We'll be on our trip. <laughs> So we finally all made it to Rhode Island. It's pretty exciting. Danny, where are you? where's Danny? Danny! Danny, come on. We're up here. Uh, what? I thought so I was the loudest person in the world and then I met you. It's not a library. So it's a redhead thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just trying to embarrass Danny. That's all. This just turned into the coolest airport ever. Oh, Somebody play something. Okay, I'll win you a stuffed animal. Charles, let's do Terminator Salvation. Holy shit, what is this? Wait. Salvation. Right? Oh, yeah, Salvation. That doesn't make sense. What is this car? It looks like... Easy. Hey, guy. Easy. <laughs> it literally looks like a hearse had sex with a minivan and created this. I saw a piano in the lobby. Literally just <laughs> setting up shop. It's like in the staircase. There's no way I'll get in trouble for this, right? We'll see. Turns out the piano is severely out of tune. Yeah, it's kind of funky. I just did something incredibly brave. I was sitting here editing the vlog, and I was like, you know, like to put a lot of pillows behind me to support the back and the neck, and a spider fell out of the pillowcase onto my body. Uh, for those of you who know me a little more than just that I play in a band called We The Kings, uh, you will know that I am terrified of spiders. I kept my cool. I did not scream like a girl. Uh, although, contrary to belief, people might have heard somebody screaming. That was not me. Uh, I put him back onto the pillow. Like, I was able to, like, fling him off my shirt, back onto the pillow, and didn't kill him. Jenny would be really, really happy with me right now because, uh, I, I threw him by, <laughs> behind the TV. So, there's a spider somewhere. Dude, a spider fell out of my pillowcase, and I didn't kill it. That, that's the theory of, of or the, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is that I was flustered, but I did not kill the spider. I let him live behind the TV somewhere. Now he's missing, so he's probably like coming to- The hotel pillowcase? The hotel pillowcase. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so I didn't get much sleep. I'll fly home now. <laughs> It wasn't like, it was a big one, it was just, it was like a green and yellow one. That was a green and yellow spider. Now, now everything I see in the room is green and yellow. Is, it looks like a spider. Apparently Newport, Rhode Island is like one of the most beautiful cities in the country according to people that are from Rhode Island. Uh, so uh, we're very excited to go over this unique bridge. Right. A lot of water, a lot of nice houses. Lighthouses everywhere. Nice houses and lice, lice houses. Houses filled with lice. Damn, lots of I wanted to let you guys know formally that I bought a new house. So, 
welcome. Welcome to my mansion. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but you know what? Yeah, I figured we could get bigger. I get by. Gosh, it's like Hogwarts. Well, you read it. Fall off the path, scream the word fuck, and get eaten by three sharks. Stay on the paved path, people. Steep cliffs. The college got me a cake. Hopefully this won't end up on my face. The last one, I got caked in the face on stage, uh, and it hurt. <laughs> but it was very nice of them. They wrote happy birthday. Unless Charles, did you do that? Are you upset? Are you upset because I pranked you? I got Charles real good. It's not going on my face. I'm going to take it to bed. I like, everything's like so organized. I know, I feel so You got your Red Bull, towels. and your this, and then the towels are right there, and then you are throwing crap all over the room. And then, do the uh, Chiquita banana thing. Wait for it. Thank you very much, you all. Worked. The look on my face right now is the look of motivation. I ran. Danny went to go get a milkshake. Who feels better? Probably him. <laughs> Charles! Let's go. We're going to get tacos. Charles and I are going on a little taco date. Where are they? Do you know where they are? Or are we just I'm walking smelling. blind? Okay. You might know. Do you guys know where the tacos are? My friend Charles is starving for a taco. And also me too. You know what it means when the lights go down? It means it's about time for the show! I hope you guys enjoy. The show was awesome. It was really, really cool. And at some point in the entire show, I decided that everybody had glow sticks. I decided to turn off the lights and tell people to launch the glow sticks on stage. Maybe not one of my greatest idea, but it looks really cool. I'll see if I can insert the footage here because I know somebody got it. <laughs> Pretty sweet, right? You gotta agree, it's kinda cool. Can't tell me there's anything wrong with just walking around with a sprig of grapes, eating it like a, like a king. It's actually, they need to be cleaned. They need to be washed. Well, luckily it's raining. Well, luckily it's raining and 40 degrees outside. Remember the bridge? This is it at night. It's real nice. Probably shouldn't be driving and vlogging and all kinds of things and, and rainy, but it's really cool. Rhode Island, I love you, it's been real. Call us nerds, call us vloggers, call us what you will, but right now it is- Call a, us nerds! It's an Apple party. If you could uh, right now. keep the noise out, I'm trying to work on my transitions here, so appreciate it. Can you tell, are we DJs or vloggers? <laughs> it looks like we're all like, getting ready for the show tonight at 2 a.m. We the Kings winding down the night at the bar watching hockey. That is, the epitome of We The Kings. Bar, sports, after the show, right before we pass out and wake up in three hours. <laughs> this is good night. By good night, I mean like we're gonna be waking up in like the next three yeah. hour and 15 minutes. That's the rock star life, people. It's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thanks for watching and see you when I see you. I'm not exactly the best daily vlogger, but I'll keep putting the days out so you guys think I am. Good night.